HTTV in association with Illingworth and Gregory. David, 2 0 defeat to Crystal Palace today. We're immediately after the game. Give us your immediate thoughts on what, what didn't work for you today. Yeah, it's a disappointing uh, defeat and it was a disappointing performance as well. We know what we have done wrong today. We were below par, especially in ball possession. We gave the ball too easy away. We made too many easy mistakes and then we were never able to close the gaps in between the players and if you give the ball too easy away, too quick away, then the distances in between the players are too big and you are never able to come into the challenges, into the battles. You always are one, two steps uh, too far away and you never have the feeling, oh, uh, I'm really in the game and successful and this was our biggest problem. Of course, uh, Palace were able to use uh, these mistakes, these spaces. They were a threat in the counter and I think they deserve this result. As much as we obviously could have done things better, do you have to sometimes give credit to the opposition? I thought Crystal Palace were very organised today and you could see the individual ability that you talked about pre-match. Yeah, and this was something what uh, we expected, but we expected more from us in ball possession. And, uh, the good thing is if you know what you have done wrong, make it better the next time. So we conceded this defeat, nothing what we wanted to have. Uh, we underperformed today and we were below par. The atmosphere was outstanding, so credit and uh, thank you to the supporters, what they've done today. We have to do our job better than we have done today, especially in ball possession. There we were not good enough and this is what we have to do better. As much as we weren't at our best, you talk about staying in games and, and, and staying in games. We did today, we were at 1-0 for a long time. We had a couple of half chances at 1-0 and then the kind of individual error and the penalty really makes it difficult for us, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. But we have to be honest, even if we had a couple of half chances, uh, we were not good enough today to deserve something on this game. We have to perform better what the players have done in the past. Uh, they have shown attitude, desire, they, they fought, but they were not good enough in ball possession. And then they gave themselves a mountain to climb and this was not possible to, 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 to close these gaps in between the distances uh, of, of the players, they were too big and this is an easy explanation. Unfortunately it happened today, nothing what we wanted. We know what we've done wrong, we have to do this better, we have to defend that place as better as well, but at the end it's all about, I said this more often, how we manage defeats, yep. that we are looking forward, that we analyze what we have to do better and that we do it better. We know we have to do a better job in the future and the next opportunity is in two weeks. Always look to take the positive out of any game David, you've already alluded to the effort and the attitude of the players. We also saw Elias Kashunga back on the pitch today which is going to be a real boost between now and the end of the season. Yeah of course, uh, with two further weeks of training in Kutcher's legs uh, this will be helpful for us. Uh, Terence Congolo will be back uh, for sure uh, next week in training and Hopefully all the internationals come back healthy as well. At the end, uh, short after the game, we are all disappointed. Uh, of course we are, we, we expected more from us today, but we have to uh, be honest as well. Uh, this is something what should not happen, but what can happen. And the most important thing is we know what we've done wrong. We're immediately after the game, but how do the lads look in the change room? Any injuries that are evident immediately now? No, they look fine. So injury-wise, they look fine. Okay, and we talked about that period between now and Newcastle, David. How will you use it? Is there a balance to get a little bit of rest and then work back on the training ground? Yeah, of course. They they have to have uh, some days off now, even if we have to make sure that we keep focused and concentrate. This is why we train in this week as well, and then. Uh, the week after this week, uh, we get into the pre preparation for Newcastle. Hopefully, as I said, the internationals come back healthy uh, at the end of the second week. We will see how we look.